Hey, what's up, bros? Speed 7-Eleven here. It's game, game time. Like, comment, subscribe. Always appreciate it. So we're looking at taking care of this caretaker boss. You can see his little indicator on the map. A lot of players don't realize that, but if you look at the map, you can usually see two of those indicators moving around. So take one that's going to be in the storm and go for it. It's best to go into the sideways at first because the sideways minigun works really good on the caretaker. Also get the side. Whether you're upgraded or not doesn't really matter. But what you want that for is not to damage the caretaker, but to get siphon off of the cube monsters. When you're fighting the caretaker, you don't have much time to heal, so the siphon off of this is very valuable. So now that I got the side and the minigun, let's go find the caretaker. So I'm moving across the map, checking my map again. All right, he's outside of the storm on this side, but there is another one on the other side, just in case. But my plan was to taunt him a little bit and try to get him to follow me into the storm circle. Uh, I want to get him inside the first storm circles before I battle him so the storm doesn't come in and kill us or kill me anyways. So I'm not looted up too good, but killing these key monsters, I should get plenty of ammo for the sideways minigun. So I'm not too worried about that. But what I don't want to happen is taking damage off of him before we even get started. So I'm trying to agitate him a little bit and get him chasing me. Alright, now that I got his attention, let's see if I can get him to run into the storm circle before I engage with him. Use the sideways scythe. Has that jump fast travel effect, so you use that to your advantage. One thing I was planning on doing was using the side of the ability to try to stay behind him on his attacks, because he does a smash wave attack that does damage to, I thought, anything in front of him, so I was planning on getting behind him, but I was having a hard time getting that technique to work. As you'll see in this, let the battle begin. Sure everyone figures out pretty quick that the big glowing orb is the weak point. So a few monsters put the side for some siphon. Restore your health or shield. I'm trying to get behind him, but he keeps blocking my evasion. Getting some damage on him, but the plan is not quite working. But I am getting some nice siphon with the side. So that is definitely a good strategy. And every time I try to get behind him, he sets me up. Maybe I'm too far back. Maybe you stay closer to his feet, and when he attacks, then you try to get behind him. That was a little better, but still, I took some damage and it pushed me forward. Using the side on him doesn't work well at all. He knocks me out of the sideways bubble. At least the cube monsters can get you out here. You can heal up, shield up. But his attacks will come outside of the sideways and still hit you. So you're not totally safe out there. If you stay out too long, he'll actually close the sideways. Then you have to get him into reopen it again. have enough health to take him out since he's so low. Can't take any more of those hits. But hey, I think we got him. Nah, let's pop another shield. Or two. Should have dropped the big pot, but we'll try it with just a couple of minis. Alright. So this should be it. So, trying to for the cute monsters, finish this caretaker off. There we go. Mission complete. So he drops a lot of cute monster parts. Enough to upgrade my side to mythic ability. But the storm's coming in. Now one thing I was curious about was can I use the shape shapeshifter ability to transform into the caretaker? The answer is no, that will be too OP. We can't transform into the caretaker of the cube monsters. 
because the camouflage of that would just be too OP for other players. So let's keep using this fast travel. But it doesn't have a long cooldown period, so you can pretty much use it back to back. Fast travel. And they did want to upgrade it to Mystic. Try it on some of these bots in the lobby. Upgraded it up yet. There's a serial, the rare variant. Just want to get update it to epic, legendary, and mythic status. Let's try that right here. Put all my cube parts. Feeding the caretaker. Got a lot of cube monster parts. So we'll use those to upgrade it. It should be able to go all the way to Mythic. And then we'll use it there. Get into the storm circle. Alright, so now we have Mythic inside. See how much damage this does. Let's see, 50 each hit. Not too bad. Alright, brah. Appreciate it. If you're trying to battle the caretaker, try some of these tips on this tutorial guide. Good luck with it. 